Hello, everyone. Thank you for attending today's webinar. My name is David Arena. Today, we'll take a look at some of the new features and enhancements in the new CreaForm OS software. If you've been a longtime CreaForm user, you'll recognize this homepage. It's from CreaForm's VX Element software. This was the starting point to start a new scan, open a session, or launch one of the modules within the main software. Welcome to the new CreaForm OS. With a new redesigned homepage, Experience a fresh, intuitive interface designed for better navigation and usability. This effectively has replaced the VX Elements interface. We'll take a look at some of the details at the layout. The area in the central here is the module home, currently showing what you'd see for the scan module shown on the upper left of the screen. Each module in the acquisition area has a unique home window with different information and selections possible. The three modules powering CreaForm devices are grouped together at the top of the acquisition area. The modules under the CreaForm Metrology suite launch the various software applications. For experienced users, VX Model is now known as scan to cad and VX Inspect is now Inspection. The Learn area contains links to a tutorial list as well as online e-learning videos and courses. Here you can quickly open a recent session by clicking on the project thumbnail or open a session to browse for other saved projects. The Insight channel is an ongoing feed of CreaForm news, blogs, case studies, and more. Click on a summary title to access the content in your web browser. In the Start panel, we have the new scan button enabled showing the current connected scanner. Inside the software, tools are now grouped in smaller toolbars based on their functionality. The toolbars can be expanded and collapsed when pinned above the viewer. They can also be unpinned, placing them in a viewer where they can be dragged around. Media tooltips are a new tool to guide users when learning the software, including animations, demonstrating what the tool does without needing to leave the application. Tabs are now found at the navigation panel on the top left and are named for easier identification. The position of unpinned toolbars is saved automatically so they will appear where you left them the next time you launch the software. The new advanced lighting combines a strong spotlight with an ambient light source with varying degrees coming from multiple directions. This combination allows for more even lighting, less affected by darker shadows. The 3D rendering engine was upgraded to use physically-based rendering, a computer graphics technique that more accurately simulates the way light and materials interact, resulting in a more realistic rendering. You can click the reset lighting to return to the default parameters. New in scan to CAD, quick entities. Once the function is activated from the entities toolbar, the mesh will be segmented into different regions. The regions are listed with a color legend in the parameters panel. Here you can quickly extract primitive shapes from the list. So after we extract a couple of planes here, we can go ahead and extract some cylinders. We can also hold down the shift key to add separate regions to create that cylinder. And finally, we can extract sphere here at the end. The new scan to CAD Pro add-on adds a modeling tool group that has the tools necessary to sketch and perform various CAD functions to create solid models. So here we're going to go ahead and start with a sketch on the XZ plane. We can drag that arrow into the part where we'd like to take the profile from. And once we're in the sketch mode, we have the tools to sketch the geometry we need. So here I'm going to go ahead and create a three-point arc, actually snapping to the profile and next, we're going to go ahead and create several lines here. Starting on the left side, just create a vertical line with constraint built in, horizontal line, and finally, in another vertical line. Next, we're going to go ahead and trim these together. On the left side, new line to the arc, and the same on the right side. Now that we have a closed profile, we can go ahead and do an extrusion, creating an extrusion on that sketch. We can change the method to a symmetric method here. And finally, just click on a vertice on the mesh to establish what the distance would be for that extrusion. So this would be considered our first feature to model this particular scan. A timeline is displayed in the navigation tree, listing created items and operations in order of execution. It is also displayed at the bottom of the 3D graphics window. Here I'm going to roll back to the beginning and walk through the timeline. At any time, you can also compare the solid body to the mesh, displaying the deviation between the CAD and the scan mesh. For the inspection module, the new sheet metal add-on gives access to a new inspection method 
that is optimized for scanning the edges of sheet metal parts using raw data from the scan rather than the mesh resolution. It can be used to measure circles, rectangles, slots, points, or comparison points. This add-on only works with the HandyScan Black series of scanners. The optimal use for this tool are for gauges between 16 and 24. Instead of relying on the resolution of the mesh, the Edge Pro measurement method uses an advanced imaging algorithm to analyze images and extract data acquired during the scan process to perform precise and accurate measurements. The Edge Pro density indicator gives live feedback of data density displayed on each individual 2D entity. It provides feedback through a color code. It starts with red when data is missing, turns yellow when some of the data has acquired, and turns green when enough data has been captured. Here is an image showing the successful measurement of the captured features. So that's about it for this uh, webinar. I appreciate you guys coming.